Hey guys, sorry it's been a while again, but as you know, I try and wait for his timing. He gives me a dream, I write it down, and then I wait um, for him to kind of nudge me to um, post it or whether or whether or not I should um, share it with other people. Um, but here we go. Um, I had this dream October 16th, 2020. I was pregnant, but I didn't know I was pregnant till I went into labor. I was freaking out, worried the baby was going to not be okay since I didn't know I was pregnant. You know, the whole no prenatal vitamins or whatever, no <clears throat> doctor's appointments and all that. So anywho, the birth had to be natural because I was too far into labor <clears throat> to receive medication. It was painful, but quick. I was then holding my new baby boy. My husband wanted his name to be Marty or Morty. I told him, no, his name is to be Seth after Eve's son. When I announced his name, the room got very bright, and then I woke up. So after this dream, I decided I needed to learn more about Seth, because I honestly knew nothing about him, except for, you know, uh, he was Adam and Eve's third son. Um, here's what I found. He was given to Eve after Cain killed Abel. He was made in Adam's image, whom was made in God's image. Adam was 130 years old when Seth was born. Seth was 105 years old when he had Enosh. Seth lived to the age of 912 Eve believed God had appointed him as a replacement for Abel, a.k.a. Abel's generations. So what God had planned for Abel's generations, um, he gave um, Seth as a replacement to build off of those generations. It's been said that late in life, Adam gave Seth secret teachings that would become the Kabbalah. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that properly. Um, the Zohar refers to Seth as ancestor of all generations. Uh, in Hebrew, um, righteous ones. Okay. The New Testament has three references to Enoch from the lineage of Seth. So, and those references are Luke 3, 37, Hebrews 11, 5, and Jude 1, 14 through 15. Enoch was the first man to be raptured, and he is, like I said up here, from the lineage of Seth. Now there's two Enochs. One from Cain's lineage and one from Seth's lineage. And Enoch from Seth's lineage was the one that was raptured. And that is talked about here in these books. Seth's, <clears throat> Seth's name meaning is anointed, compensation, appointed, and placed. The name Marty means servant of Mars or god of war. And Morty means dead sea, a stagnant lake, follower, uh, follower of Marduk. Origin is Babylonian. Derived from Mordecai, 
And Mordecai was Esther's relative. He adopted her after her parents died. And uh, I believe he was her uncle. But I put cousin slash niece. Because <clears throat> I, I don't want to be wrong on that. Um, but I remember when I read Esther, the book of Esther, which is like a soap opera. <laughs> and... Uh, Anyway, I remember Mordecai being her uncle, I want to say, and he adopted her. And when she became queen, um, he told her to keep her lineage and um, a secret um, from the king until the proper time. But um, if you guys have not read the book of Esther, I suggest you read it. Um it is very entertaining and, um, I don't know. It was, it was just really one of my favorite books of the Bible. But anyway, I thought, I thought it was very interesting. These in blue are what I just found out today about it. Um, as I was praying and just kind of just thinking on it, on this dream. <clears throat> and I just found it interesting Appointed, Seth's name meaning appointed, like the appointed time. Um, Marty mean, meaning um, war. And Morty, Dead Sea. And Dead Sea, if you guys don't know anything about Enoch, I suggest you definitely look him up and... Um, I mean, him being the first man to be raptured, which is in Genesis 5.24. Um, even if he, that is the only reason you study Enoch, um, then whatever. I mean, he, he's just very, I believe he's very important for this time in our history now, like our present day time and us looking for our appointed time uh, to be raptured um, but anyway I want to reread the dream just real quick because it's <clears throat> it's very short but like I said it was October 16th 2020 I was pregnant but I didn't know I was pregnant till I went into labor I didn't know I was pregnant until I went into labor. I was freaking out, worried that the baby was going, was not going to be okay. Um, since I didn't know I was pregnant, the birth had to be natural because I was too far into labor to receive medication. It was painful, but quick, painful, but quick. I was then holding my baby boy and my husband wanted him to be Marty or Morty. And I said, his name is Seth after Eve's son. When I announced his name, the room got very bright and I woke up. So, um, I'm really excited and, and eagerly await y'all's, um, thoughts on this and if anybody has a um would like to pray over this dream and kind of get discernment and um deeper translation that'd be awesome to go ahead and comment that for me um but I don't know he just told me that this was the day to go ahead and post the dream and so I am doing that and today is October 28th, 4.34 p.m. Thank you, everyone, and I hope you have a blessed day.